let's start this video off the right way and do a 3300 rpm launch in the scat pack ready set go Should you buy this thing? Well, that may have answered the question right away, um, but there are a lot of cars you have to consider when looking at this price point. Now, I'm really gonna be talking about used prices here because Dodge is asking around $65,000 for the wide body scat pack in 2024 for the 2023 models. That's a little bit much to me, but I must say because these cars aren't ever being made again, uh, and they are genuinely fun cars to drive. They have a ton of power. I mean, this is like a car for a grown kid. I am not joking when I say that. Sure, you could get a Mustang GT. Now, I am a Mustang person, so all this is coming from a Mustang person, but I am going to admit that these scat packs are just more lively. They're more rowdy. They're, they're crazier to drive, and the acceleration in these things are just so different from literally any other car I've ever driven before. Now, the Scat Pack comes with a 6.4 liter V8 that makes 485 horsepower. As standard, you get Brembo brakes front and back, four piston brakes on both the front and the back, and this car can also stop extremely well. The zero to 60 in this car is 4.3 seconds. So if you gotta get anywhere in a short amount of time, this thing will make sure you can do that. Not to mention, guys, the outside, the exterior design of this car, I mean, have a look for yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words for how menacing this car looks. If this thing was riding my ass right behind me, I am moving in the other lane because it is so mean looking. I mean, the whole, I, the only complaint I have with the exterior is the side angle. The side just doesn't look that good to me. You get the 392 uh, Hemi badge and then you have those Brembo brakes, but the side doesn't look all that good. The back, especially with the stripes on this car, I think looks amazing. So, should you buy a Scat Pack? The question is, are you somebody that genuinely uses what the car has to offer? And do you also have a decent amount of money, right? Of course, that's in the equation. These are not very cheap cars to own. You could expect your monthly payments to be about $1,000 uh, if you get like a kind of small down payment on it. Um, it, it, it one thing I will say is, don't feel like you, there is a need to buy it immediately. I only say that because yes, Dodge is going electric, which I think is the stupidest decision any, any dealership has ever made before, especially if they know the demographic of people who buy these cars. Like I would never buy an electric version of this. I, I imagine, I don't want to say for sure, but nothing will beat the sound that this car has to offer, which we'll do a poll as soon as the light turns green. And imagine that just being a quiet acceleration. I could not, but Either way, there are still a lot of these on the lot. So it's not like there is a, uh, you have to buy it immediately. But the one thing is if you're looking for a new one because you don't wanna have a car that was treated horribly, which these cars tend to be treated horribly by the majority of owners, then yes, there's a little bit more of a crunch for time in picking one of these up, but not yet. my gosh it's so good it is so so good it is way more playful and rowdy than a mustang gt i will say that i made an entire video on what's better a gt or a scat pack so i'm not just saying a scat pack is automatically better but i am saying this thing is different in its own good way and can it corner well because this is a wide body it can do a good job Sure, this thing weighs 4,400 pounds, but I was pretty shook when I got in this thing. That was a little, that was a little sus, but it still handled it all right. I was pretty shook when I got in this thing and threw it around in some corners and it, it does what it does. Like, it's good. You get 20 inch wheels, you get 305s in terms of tire width, front and back. And yes, I mean, 
Is the Scat Pack worth it? Maybe. Again, how do you drive it? Do you actually go ham when you drive? If you don't, why spend the extra $8,000? But the Scat Pack, uh, the wide body offers a much, much better handling experience. And also with the design, yes, the wider fenders really give this thing a unique look. Um, and they're more rare, right? You see narrow bodies everywhere all the time. The V6, of course, is a narrow body. RTs are narrow body. A lot of scat packs are narrow body. But the wide body may be a choice to consider. Let's test the brakes. Good body to my backpack. They do just fine. Like, this is not only a performance car, but also a daily driver if you want it to be. This is a very, very comfortable car to drive. Oh my Lord, there is nothing better than feeling this car struggle with the traction, but still put the power down. A lot of cars just cut the power, you're done. Like it, it'll drop RPMs. This one keeps climbing. But the tires are spinning and it's just struggling to grip. It is such a cool experience uh, flooring it from a stop in this thing. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, speedometer goes to 180 RPM. You get around a 6,250 to 6,500 uh, red line. When you look at the, the RPM gauge, it looks like it stops at 6,000, but it continues past it. So. Um, it's kind of weird what the what the red line is. Now the RTs stop at around 5750. That is a very very low red line. My biggest complaint about the RT. RTs sound really really good, but this the speed that you get in this car, I have driven a lot a lot of fast cars. This one really doesn't get old. I was expecting it to. I've already driven a Scat Pack, a Challenger Scat Pack. Make sure you watch that video as well. That was a good review I did on that one. Um, but still, I, it, flooring this thing from a stop, it's just as fun as it was the first time I did it. And that's what you want in a car. The RT, it got, you know, a little, I got used to it pretty quickly. Um, many other cars, it's like, okay, yep, it's fast, but I'm used to it. This thing, it's not just how fast it accelerates, it's how rowdy of an acceleration you get when you do accelerate it. It is freaking awesome. Let's see if we can get it a little bit loose on, on this turn here. I'm, I'm not a good drifter, but... It is so much fun. That's exactly what I mean by it's playful. Like this car is actually built for doing that. You get the um, launch control, you get line lock. So if you really just want to do a straight up burnout, that's easy, no problem. You get performance pages. Actually, before we go there, let's throw everything in track if it is not already. It is not. So let's throw everything in track real quick and continue this drive. Um, but if we go to performance pages, we get all these live readings on horsepower torque. Here's the dyno chart right here. And this will record 120 seconds of history with how we have used the car. So generally speaking, half of this chart would just be maxed out with the way I drive. Um, but that's why you get this car. And most Scat Pack owners do that with these cars, which I respect them for that. Just uh, please don't do cutting up videos because that's, you know, don't risk somebody else's life. If you're gonna do some dumb stuff. At least just risk your own, and, and that's it. Uh, let's do another. Let's do another launch right here. Um, let's go to. Oh yeah. It, so it doesn't even pull up on here. It just knows. Ready? good too oh my gosh uh, guys we, we should boycott dodge if they if they make these electric that's just literally gonna ruin the car and then they are that that is their decision so should you buy a scat pack i mean yes i th <laughs> i think you should just be very wary of what you're spending don't just impulse purchase this car because they are they are asking way too much for these new remember when hellcats were 50 60 000? You can find RT. They're asking 50,000 for RTs, which is quite a bit ridiculous. Oh, 
the way this thing shifts, the way it sounds, the way it accelerates, the way it looks. Have we even mentioned this interior yet? Guys, you get a heated steering wheel. You get heated seats for the back seat passengers. You get, look at this chart. That is, that is freaking awesome. Oh, God, I think I'm gonna buy this car. This is insane. Um, so yeah, heated and cooled seats, not, not cooled for the back seats, but for uh, front seats, heated and cooled. You get a heated steering wheel, all the performance pages, your SRT dashboard, your SRT mode. Oh my gosh. And, and, and guys, this is not just a sports car. This is almost crossing into luxury territory with, with how amazing this interior is. I've, I never ever in, in my life thought I would say that about a Dodge, but I just said it. These Alcantara seats with the Scat Pack logo, with the heated and cooled amenities, with this absolutely amazing infotainment system, what do you what do you not have? That's a serious question. What do you not have that you need in, in this car? I, I don't know. I, I think this is a complete package of everything. Now, of course, you could get a Hellcat. Yes, I know. Uh, that's gonna be 30, 40, $50,000 probably actually $40,000 more than this car. So you could almost get two RTs for one Hellcat. And the question is, I mean, is the Hellcat really worth that extra money? That's questionable. This thing is so, it is sufficiently fast for, for road conditions. I mean, you, you, it, it's almost too fast. You don't need a Hellcat. You absolutely do not need a Hellcat. Uh, now, if a Hellcat was $10,000 more than, uh, than a uh, Scat Pack, I would say, yeah, I'd probably go with the Hellcat, but it's not. So it's, you know, almost double the price. Wow, I mean, this is really a great car, especially the 2020 model years and later with the redesign. Take another look at how good this thing looks. It is, I, I mean, I would give the exterior design like a nine out of 10. It is it, they, a, the true definition of a muscle car. The reliability ratings on these cars are usually between 60 and 70 out of 100, which is eh, like that's not that good. Better than a lot of other cars. Um, you also gotta consider the risk of this being stolen. If, by the way, if you ever wondered why these cars are stolen so much, the reason is is because Dodge made it, they, they made a marketing strategy. They wanted to make it so that almost anybody could get in this car, nearly regardless of your credit score or how much money you have to put down. So if you have a terrible credit score, almost no money to put down, they would still work with you. Now, because of that, they knew these cars had to be repossessed a lot. That's why under this little rubber strap down here, pull this thing up, unclip this plastic thing, your neutral strap is down there and pull that, you can pull this thing down the road, easily start the car and your car is gone, gone forever. So um, it's not because the car is popular or uh, you know, none of that. It's because Dodge set this car up to be taken. They, they set it up to be repossessed and that just led to thieves stealing the car. Hold on a second. Oh, in the shifts, when it shifts, it's like a boom. Like you just get thrown back in your seat for a second. It is, uh, yeah, the whole car is so, so good. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. We covered literally everything there is to, there is to know. If you want, check out the uh, the Dodge uh, Charger RT video I made as well as the scat pack of the Challenger. And make sure you drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe as well, many more videos to come. Love you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.